The year 2024 will be the year of high and unstable inflation, the year of even higher prices for food and fuel. European economies will be going from bad to worse. The US economy will be doing just fine. Or will it? India and China will be going strong. They will be growing, saving the world economy from a full-scale crisis. Hi, my name is Vitaly. I am an economist. I am a boring mainstream economist. And in this channel I share with you economic news. And in this video I'll share with you what will most likely happen to major economies in the year 2024. Spoiler alert, nothing good. So, what will happen to the world economy in 2024? According to the World Bank, the world economy will grow at 2.4%. The World Bank calls it the weakest start to a decade since the 1990s. Do you remember the 90s? Let's put this number into a perspective. In the year 2021, the world economy grew at 6%. In 2022, 3%. In 2023, 2.6%. And this year, it will grow at 2.4%. So the global economy will slow down for a third consecutive year. The world economic growth was worse only three times during the pandemic recession of 2020, during the Great Recession of 2008, and during the dot-com bubble recession of 2001. And now, slowly but surely, the world economy is heading towards a new recession. Tough times are ahead. But this number, 2.4%, is the average. It doesn't mean that your country will grow at the same rate. Your country may do better or worse than the average. For example, if you live in India, good for you, because your economy will grow at 6%. And if you live in China, also good for you, your economy will grow at 4.5%. So whether you like it or hate it, but India and China remain the engines of the world growth. They remain the most successful, fast-growing economies of the world. Two bright spots in this sea of economic darkness. But if China and India are doing so well, how about the West? How about the self-proclaimed civilized world? How is it doing? Not so well. The euro area will grow at 0.7%. So European economies are balancing on the verge of a recession. And two biggest economies, Britain and Germany, are already in a recession. Europe cut itself from the cheap Russian oil. Europe got hooked on the expensive LNG from the United States. And to make things worse, European politicians made sure to destroy the nuclear energy. And it turns out that wind and solar are not enough. Who would have guessed? So Europe got itself into this energy crisis. And this crisis will go on for years. For years, European economies will be balancing on a zero to negative economic growth. And as we speak, European farmers are dumping it on the streets of European cities. Ah, Europe, it's beautiful this time of the year. For example, Germany. Germany is increasing taxes on natural gas and food. Who would need food anyway? Tax hikes during a recession is an economic suicide. Energy crisis, refugee crisis, social unrest and massive layers off across Europe. That's Europe today. 
Now, let me be crystal clear, my heart goes to Europe. I wish Europeans the best, but it's the choice of European nations to destroy their economies, and we've got to respect their choices. <coughs> Let's now turn our attention from Europe to the United States. Is America doing any better? The media tells you that the U.S. economy is as strong as ever. Job market is wonderful. Inflation is getting lower. And America is prospering under the steady leadership of Joe Biden. But let's look at the data. Let's look at inflation, unemployment, and the Federal Reserve rate. First, unemployment. The unemployment rate in the U.S. is almost 4%, which is low, below the average, but it's a two-year high. So the unemployment rate is creeping up. <coughs> Second, inflation. In the U.S., inflation used to be high thanks to Biden's insane fiscal policy of 2021. But in 2023, inflation started falling, falling towards the target of 2%. But now it's over. Inflation is going up, creeping up again. And inflation is picking up again because of the wars in the Middle East. And America is fueling those wars. So expect more wars. Expect the conflicts in the Middle East to expand. Expect more interruptions to the world trade. Expect higher prices for oil, higher prices for everything. It's very possible that the U.S. will be hit by high inflation again later this year and in 2025. <laughs> Finally, the Federal Reserve rate. The U.S. Federal Reserve plans to cut its rate three times this year. But this is what a central bank would do in a recession. But the media tells us that there is no recession, that at worst the U.S. will have a soft landing, whatever the heck that means. So why would the U.S. Federal Reserve do a recession-like policy when there is no recession? Maybe, just maybe, the actual economic situation in America is worse. Maybe the officials fixed data and they are lying to you, lying to get Biden re-elected. And the U.S. Federal Reserve knows it. And that is why they plan a recession-like policies for the upcoming recession. This was my take on the year 2024. What do you think? Will the world economy avoid a full-scale collapse in 2024? Put your comment below, I'll be happy to see what you think. This will be an interesting year for the world economy, so stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.